need to study some Russian. I know, I'll write about my day. Yeah, I'm so smart. Okay, let's look up some verbs I'll need. How to say I wake up? Hmm, prosypatsa. I wonder why do we have this ya? Ah, doesn't matter. Okay, let's just write it. Prasipatsa. Mm hmm, what's next? Yeah, how to say to wash? Umuvatsa? Umuva what? Umuvatsa? Which one should I take? Ah, whatever, just take the first one. It will do. Umuvat. Okay, sure, it will not be a problem with the last one. To prepare. How do you say to prepare? Gatovit? Gatovitsa? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Привет! Из далеко! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel in Russian from afar. My name is Sergey. Here we are learning Russian from anywhere in the world. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, you're gonna get your daily dosage of Russian if you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell, which is really important for us, so more people can find about this channel and learn Russian just like you do. Поехали! So today we're gonna talk about reflexive verbs. Reflexive verbs help us to show the concept of self and those are the verbs which you can usually see with the ending such as xia and s. If you spot this, you probably know those are the reflexive verbs. There are many aspects of this topic and many little details. However, I don't want to overwhelm you with the grammar and I'll just give you the main ideas and the main points to show you how it works. But first, let's watch the situation. Hey, привет! Привет! Как дела? Хорошо, хорошо. Я тебя люблю. <laughs> я тебя тоже люблю. Да, я тебя поцелую. Стоп! А? Побрейся, собака. Почему? Побрейся, собака, ты такая. Что? Побрейся. Почему? Давай, иди, иди. О, окей. Good dog, good dog. Любимый. <gasps> Что ты делаешь? Ты зачем собаку бреешь? Но я люблю тебя. Побрейся, собака. Ой, ой. Ты дурак, я сказал, ты сам побрейся, не собаку же, ой, я не понимаю. So, if you don't want to end up just like that poor foreigner in this video, you better listen carefully here. The first usage of the reflexive verbs is when the subject and the object is the same person. When she said, Побрейся, собака. Basically, she was saying, shave yourself, you dog. So, in Russian, as you notice, in this case, we omit the word ты, you, right? And we just say побрейся, without adding ты. And it's also in imperative form, which means that I command you to do that. In other words, you do the action which is directed upon yourself. So, if she would say побрей собаку, then he would probably have done everything right. But with other verbs that you can use in this situation, such as мыться, одеваться, готовиться. The second usage we have when people do something together with each other. Маруся, чего хочешь? 
It's my cat. Ciao. Meow. Yeah. For example, Shakira tsubuyet mina. Shakira kisses me only in my dreams. What did you just say? Nothing, 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 nothing. But if I say Ani tsuluyutsa, which means that they are kissing each other, that's the way we use it to express idea of somebody doing something with each other. Other verbs we can use in this situation, such as strichatsa and abnimatsa. In the third situation, we use for the objects which make the actions, and usually those are not animate objects. Let's look at the situation. Ты сломал свой плеер? Неправда, неправда, он сам сломался. As you see, the father said, did you break your player, mp3 player? And the son replies, no, it's not true, it broke itself. I didn't do it. Он сам сломался. So the word сломался, which means it was it's like it's broken, but not because of me, just because of itself. As you know, that's how it always happens. Other verbs you can use in this situation, such as закрываться, открываться, портиться. The last situation when you can use reflexive verbs, it's the special words, which always has xia or s in the end of the word. These words, you just have to memorize them, but probably you already have heard some of them. Нравится, надеется, оставаться. Also, many times people ask me, when should you use xia and when should you use s? Actually, it's very easy to remember. If you see the word which ends on the vowel, then you need to add s, such as я учусь, вы учитесь. Я занимаюсь, вы занимаетесь. Я нравлюсь, вы нравитесь. That's right, guys. Well done. And if the ending goes with consonant, then you would use ся. Ты нравишься. Они одеваются. Мы моемся. Easy, right? That's all for today, guys. I have one question for you. If you ever got in a situation such as troublesome as we had today in our video by using reflexive verbs, please share about your experience down below in the comments. And as always, if you enjoy this video, please put the like and subscribe to our channel. And if you really want to support our channel to make more videos like this, please consider checking out the Patreon in the description down below so you can become part of our team in Russian from afar. Thank you so much, guys. Пока-пока!